We are here today with Dr. Ronald Pohl of Lima Memorial Cardiothoracic and Vascular Surgery, and we're talking about open heart surgery and recovery. So first of all, doctor, can you tell us more about what open heart surgery is all about? Okay, primarily this is, depending upon what type of process they have, for coronary artery disease, we're talking about coronary artery bypass surgery uh, for multivessel disease or left main disease, um, as well as for people that are diabetic with heavy, heavily calcified coronary arteries. Those are our primary things, as well as patients that aren't amenable to stenting. Sometimes they require bypass surgery to deal with their, uh, lesion, their lesions or blockages. Okay. What conditions or symptoms might suggest that someone might be in need of open heart surgery? The primary symptoms are chest pain and shortness of breath. Those are the two big ones. Um, occasionally, we'll get people who have a screening test, such as a, uh, a stress test or even a uh, CT calcium score, looking for heavily calcified arteries or coronary arteries that suggest that there are blockages present. And what other kinds of open heart surgeries are currently available there at Lima Memorial? Primarily, we do uh, bypass surgery for coronary artery disease. We also do valve surgery. Um, we do some uh, procedures for uh, atrial fibrillation, primarily uh, maze procedures or um, pulmonary vein isolation or um, left atrial appendage clipping to try to decrease the risk of stroke from uh, embolic events due to atrial fibrillation, which is quite common in the elderly population. Okay. And if you're a patient, what can you expect before, during, and after this type of surgery? Okay. Before surgery, um, it's mostly there's a fair amount of testing that gets done so that we don't have any uh, surprises in the OR. We want to know as much as possible about the patients so that we can plan our procedures precisely. Um, and then prior to, immediately prior to surgery, they'll get some uh, blocks by anesthesia. We'll also give some medications to help with uh, post-operative pain. We try to uh, get people on an enhanced uh, recovery from surgery protocol with a lot of early ambulation, uh, non-narcotic pain relief, some uh, blocks by anesthesia to decrease the amount of pain they have in the first 24 to 48 hours after surgery so they can get up and and move around more quickly. Uh, we don't want people laying in bed after open heart surgery. We want to get them up and moving as quickly as possible because that's the best way to get them back home uh, with their family and loved ones. I know Lima Memorial has really been pushing the fact that you have same day appointments available. Is this something, a heart condition that someone can actually call and make a same day appointment? Well, that's probably not for open heart surgery. That's probably not going to happen because there's a lot of testing that needs to go on uh, first. But they can certainly get in to see the cardiologist if they're having chest pain. And uh, and then there's a lot of testing that needs to be done. You're not going to go from walking in off the street unless you have a, a major MI and having open heart surgery the same day. That's probably very rare, I would say. All right. Well, if you'd like to schedule a same-day cardiological appointment, you can call the number on your screen or go to limamemorial.org forward slash same day and you can get more information. Doctor, thank you so much for your time and we will be back with more right after this.